All right, folks, so welcome back to Drop Phase. I'm your host, Low Tier Hero. We've got some crazy news on Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. The Dragon Ruler deck is back in action, and honestly, I am here hopefully to provide you with an optimal counter guide on how you can prepare yourself to face this formidable, crazy deck, literally the best deck in all of Yu Gi Oh!'s history. And I'm very excited to be able to have an opportunity to actually play it myself so i wanted to just cover all of the available text counters floodgates and board breakers before we begin this video as always go ahead and like comment share and subscribe so let's go ahead and begin the dragon ruler strategy in Yu Gi Oh is a sophisticated and dynamic approach that leverages the unique attributes and effects of the dragon ruler cards this deck primarily revolves around the level 7 Dragon Ruler monsters known for their ability to be special summoned from the hand and or graveyard by banishing two corresponding attribute or dragon type monsters. This summoning mechanic creates a rapid and resilient board presence allowing players to quickly swarm the field with powerful monsters. Each Dragon Ruler has a distinct attribute, Fire, Water, Wind, Earth, and can add a corresponding attribute Dragon type monster from the deck to the hand when banished. This provides the deck with incredible versatility and consistency, enabling players to adapt to various game situations. The lower level Dragon Rulers, often referred to as babies, augment the strategy by special summoning their adult counterparts from the deck, albeit with restrictions on attacking during the turn they are summoned. But that doesn't even matter because when you bring out these big monsters, you're going to XYZ, Link, or Synchro anyways. The Dragon Ruler deck, while formidable, has notable weaknesses that can be exploited. Firstly, the reliance on the graveyard and banishing mechanics makes it vulnerable to cards that disrupt these areas. Cards like DD Crow can remove key components from the graveyard, thereby hindering the Dragon Ruler's ability to special summon or trigger their effects. Basically, target the babies once they go to the graveyard. Another significant weakness is the Dex's ability to hand traps and effect negation. Cards like Effect Veiler, Infinite Impermanence, Ghost Mourner, and Ash can negate the effects of the Dragon Ruler, stalling the Dex momentum. Moreover, the Dragon Ruler deck can struggle against strategies that rapidly deplete its resources. Opponents can use cards like Max C. Thank you, Master Duel, for having Max C an actual card. Because Max C will force a Dragon Ruler player into a difficult decision whether to continue their plays and set up a massive board or take an L and not combo off. In summary, while the Dragon Ruler deck is powerful and versatile, it is not without its vulnerabilities. Understanding and exploiting these weaknesses can be key to defeating this archetype in competitive play. So, now that we've got an idea of the backstory, the playstyle, the win condition, how it works, and its weaknesses, let's go into our favorite segment, and that is going to be when to ash. Depending on the variant, there will be many options on when to ash, however the deck is so resilient I honestly believe that it can power through and play against an ash disruption. Therefore be mindful on timing and effectiveness when you plan on using ash against dragon rulers. You can ash any of the babies, if they're playing the dragon ravine you can ash the dragon ravine or any of the following draw cards or searchers because it can prove to be a solid disruption. But if you know or can somehow suspect, not sure how you would feel this out, but, but, if you want to save the Ash in the event that they are running Super Rejuvenation, that is my recommended number one card. Stop the Super Rejuvenation because they will draw between three to five cards. It is crazy how good and abused Super Rejuvenation will be in the Dragon Ruler deck. That would be my main target, the second target would be any of the babies, and the third target would be honestly anything else, it can be sacred swords, cards of consonants. Now that we've covered when to ash, let's go ahead and move on to the direct counters. The first number one best card to utilize against dragon rulers is going to be Maxi. And you already know Maxi requires no sort of introduction or description recommendation. If you're not playing Maxi, you are creating an obstacle and challenge for yourself because Maxi is going to literally halt them in their tracks and or give you some amazing pluses. At number two, this card would have been nice to have back in 2013, but Nibiru the Primal Bean is now a potent counter against the Dragon Ruler deck because they will always summon more than five times and you'll want to activate Nibiru before they can summon a Barone. 
So at any point in time, the timing will be based on, again on the type of variant of the Dragon Ruler that you'll be playing, whether it's synchro base rank base catch tira or link base it really just depends and since we don't really have a solid foundation on what to go off of i do apologize if this nibiru explanation was a bit too general droll and lock is an insanely solid option and it's going up the ranks on master duel because it is being utilized against monodium and other decks like branded Droll and Lock can stop the Dragon Ruler deck because the Dragon Ruler deck utilizes several draw cards to maintain card advantage aside from its core strategy. Cards like Super Rejuvenation, Sacred Sword, even Dragon Rulers will be using Max C, Triple Tactics, Talents, and Thrust, and Cards of Consonance. Droll and Lock Bird becomes effective by halting these these draw mechanisms once the first card is added to the hand from the deck, thus disrupting the Dragon Ruler's ability to sustain their resource pool. The last cards on our list for the direct counters are very similar in effect. You got Effect, Valor, Ghost Mourner, Infinite Impermanence, and if you want to go a little bit more old school, you can even take in Lost Winds, Forbidden Droplet, and Breakthrough Skill. Honestly, you don't want to use any of these cards against the Dragon Ruler deck per se. You want to save them all for their extra deck monsters such as Tomahawk, Dragosack, Aurora Dawn, Barone, any other Link and XYZ that they plan on using. Essentially, do not use these cards on anything except for extra deck monsters because that's their entire strategy. They will never stay with their core main deck. They will always have extra deck monsters on the board. Moving on to board breakers, at number one, we got Dark Ruler No More. Dragon Rulers are going to set up some crazy boards. I don't know what their board is going to look like because, again, it's a fairly new deck. It's barely coming off of the balance, and there's just going to be so many variants. And it's going to take some time before one of the variants, if not pure, is going to solidify itself in the meta. So at this point in time, generally speaking, Dark Ruler No More is going to be the best option for you because this card just stops all combo decks at number two we've got evenly matched if they have no way to stop an evenly matched this is going to be a really great way to level the playing field it's going to force a dragon ruler player to banish their cards from the field and we hope that they don't run any sort of negates from their extra deck the only one that i can personally think of would be barone at number three, we got Sphere Mode, Kaijus, and Lava Golem, even Kurikara. These cards are going to be the best way to get over their board. They're going to have at least two to five monsters almost always. And from what I remember, this deck was pretty crazy, and they're always going to have a Barone probably. So you'll want some ways to inherently remove the Barone without having it trigger its effect to negate your disruption and the last card on my board breakers list is a funny card and it's a very old school card it's electric virus this card can take control of one dragon or machine type monster but its impact is limited compared to the sweeping effects of the other cards we have discussed because we are not in a full dragon or machine format therefore universally electric virus is not that great that's it for the board breakers. Let's go ahead and jump into these floodgates. Number one, this is again a ranked order. We've got Soul Drain. Soul Drain is cracked. Cold. Soul Drain is so good right now because why everything relies and revolves on the graveyard. Soul Drain is going to negate effects in the graveyard, severely hampering Dragon Ruler's graveyard base plays. At number two, we've got Macrocosmos and Dimensional Fissure, both cards that are great at preventing cards from going to the graveyard, disrupting Dragon Ruler's loadouts in the graveyard similar with summon limit restricting the player to two summons per turn is going to keep them from xyz linking and synchro summoning dimensional barrier and spellbound are a solid choice dimensional barrier a little bit better because it negates the effects of monsters already called such as synchros and xyz's but Spellbound is much faster. Well, there you have it, folks. I do apologize that this counter guide may seem a bit general. It's just because we haven't had any sort of variants or foundational builds for Dragon Ruler as of yet. For this counter guide is to, to bring you enlightenment on what counters are available to you and how you should test them. Just remember that. Take this with a grain of salt. While I did rank and recommended some of these counters, there are a lot of counters available on this list that you should try out and make sure that they have some form of synergy and chemistry with the current build that you have because if you add too many bricks, trust me, or any sort of recommendation is going to be just terrible for you. This is Low Tier Hero coming at you with Draw Face. Thank you so much for being here. Let's go ahead and take on this Tier Zero deck and question for you and let me know in the comments below do you plan on playing this deck 
And if you do, what variant of this deck do you plan on playing? And two, will Dragon Ruler stand the test of time? Will they become a tier one deck on Master Duel or at least a tier two deck? Let me know in the comments below. This is Low Tier Hero. And until next time, my friends, I will see you all on the ranked ladder. Take care.